Hello and welcome. My name is Jonathan M.S. Pierce and this is a segment for the podcast Skeptical and I'm pierced off. It's the philosophical take on things religious and this week I'm going to look at a an X Factor third place winner, I think, a couple of years back called Rebecca Ferguson. Nice lady, beautiful voice. I ended up buying her CD, her first CD from my partner, not the sort of thing I normally buy for myself, I may hasten to add, but you know, nice enough. And I was just reading the sleeve, the inside of the sleeve, and just looked at the thanks that was given on there, you know, thanks to here, thanks to there, thanks to this person for helping my career, blah, blah, blah. The very first thanks, I think, and I don't have it with me, unfortunately, but it says something like, first I must thank God for answering my prayers and helping and there was this paragraph of of just thanks to God for getting her to where she's got for getting her the record deal and all all that stuff and for basically for answering her prayers and I thought wow that's really really interesting now obviously Rebecca Ferguson isn't some kind of sophisticated theologian but she's made a, a really commonplace error and the error is that she somehow thinks that God has intervened on her behalf rather than do other things. You know, she really does think God has intervened and this kind of intercessory prayer has worked for her benefit. Now, the problem here is that, that God's been around apparently forever <laughs> and, and there's an awful lot of stuff that's happened in the world. Uh, let's just take one, for example, uh, 2004, big tsunami, 240,000 people died. So Rebecca Ferguson seems to think that God found it more important to intervene in in the world's affairs so that she could get a record deal and have a successful album. She thinks it's more important that, well, she thinks that God must think it's more important that that takes place rather than he saved 240,000 people in a tsunami and countless billions of organisms and ecosystems. Now that's quite an interesting set of priorities. So just that little paragraph in the inner sleeve of of somebody's CD really does reflect a massive error in the ways of many, many Christians the world over. They think that God succeeds in intercessory prayer or or their intercessory prayer works and God intervenes on, on their behalf to change the state of affairs. Or even if he doesn't actually change the state of affairs, that he's somehow planned from the beginning of time that, say, in this case, Rebecca Ferguson will have a successful record released. And yet deems it not important enough to change the state of affairs or plan it from the beginning of time that 240,000 people die. That, in fact, Rebecca Ferguson implicitly seems to think that her record career, her music career, is more important than the uh, eradication of malaria. You know, we've got billions upon billions of people having died from malaria, you know, in the history of time. And yet God has seen it not fit to change that and yet fit to sort out her successful record on the back back of her X Factor appearance. That God didn't intervene to stop thousands of children being sexually abused by countless soldiers of Christ or uh, Catholic priests. God didn't intervene on on those children's behalf, but intervened on Rebecca Ferguson's behalf to create a marginally successful album. And so I just thought I'd throw that one in there, a bit of pop philosophy, theology crossover. Uh, The problem of evil evoked here. You know, why is there so much suffering? In the light of God apparently answering people's prayers so that they have a nice CD album released, and yet... Billions of people are dying the world over uh, for X, Y, and Z reasons. So there you go, Rebecca Ferguson. Sorry, I'm sure you're a lovely lady, but that's a crass and stupid statement in your CD sleeve, and I've seen it in many CD cases, and it annoys the hell out of me. Anyway, I've been Jonathan M.S. Pierce. Check out my blog, and as ever, question everything.